Hey, hello. So you're on Indeed.com trying to look for a job in BC, trying to look for an outdoor job. And you come across with this job title, forestry technician or layout technician or timber cruisers or compassmen, whatever, some fancy names. And you're wondering what is layout? And you're wondering what is cruising? You might have forestry education, you might not. And it's okay to not have forestry education to start this job. It's an entry level job. When I first started this job, I didn't know what layout is. And so I figured I should share some of my experience and my thoughts on what is layout and what is timber cruising. This is my day 18 of probably the last day of my double shift going back to school in a week. So here we go. So long story short, doing layout means you're designing this area for the loggers to come in and harvest the block, harvest the timber safely and efficiently. So you need to understand the fundamental of logging. What is a fellow puncher? What is a skitter? What is a, a hochax? And how steep can they go? What is a tilter, anything? And what is the slope that's absolutely not safe for them to operate anymore? What is the terrain stability issues? Like how do you identify them? What could possibly create a mini landslide that tipped the machines in the block? Can you identify those areas? So you wanna know the engineering and the capability of machines, different machines. And that's most, I don't wanna say most, that's a very important part of the job. But as a forestry, as a forestry professionals, our job is not just logging. We also understand that we are creating this massive primary major disturbance to the forest. And we want to minimize the environment, environmental impact while we are uh, um, accommodating our timber needs. You know, we need TP, we need two by fours for houses, we need paper straws. And there's a cross laminated board, we can build a, like six, seven, eight, store, uh, for buildings. So we also deal with logging, but we also want to know the ecology. Look at all the trees around us. They're shouting their life stories every second. Do you know their language to translate everything and understand what they're talking about? What is the forest health? What kind of back zone are we in? What even is a back zone? How do we figure that out? Look at the plants. What is the dry indicator plants? What is the wet indicator plants? What is a, what is a important plants for caribou um, in the winter time? And when is the harvesting season based on what? And also listen, what is that? What is that bird? Can it properly identify the bird species and their nests and their location and then apply a proper buffer on it? And also streams, riparians. What kind of stream is that? What kind of, what classification is that? What buffer and protection we're applying on those streams? What is the fish bearing streams? What is the ridge break? What can stop the fish from swimming up and overwinter and hatch? And look at me walking up, blow oh, down. Probably shouldn't walk in film. So ecology is another big part of this job. You want to understand the plants, the trees, the birds, the animals, the mammals, and not just ecology. Geology matters too. What kind of parent material is? What is this rock? What is that rock? Are they rippable? Are they not rippable? What is AE? What is AH? BF, BG? BM, what the heck are those? And what does it matter? Who cares? We do. As a forestry professionals, we care them a lot. 
So you understand what the logging is, you understand the ecology, geology, you understand what kind of tree species we're gonna plant, you understand how everything works. But now you get into the forest management. Understand that we are on First Nation land a lot of times. And they have their special requirement to how they manage their forest. So we, we also deal with what's a CMT, cultural modified trees, how to identify them, what do you do with those, what's a pine strips, why do they do that? I don't know. I just feel like for, for doing layouts, you, you need to know so much. And this is a great entry-level job that just puts your foots on the ground. And then you're out here, this is your job. You're just hiking around in the bush all day long and then get to connect with all the plants and species and wildlife around and, and trees and learning all the things that you need to know. So you may, you may or may not have forestry education background and you might be Canadian or you might be from another country or you might like me, I'm from a country that doesn't speak English. And it, it, it doesn't matter because we love what we do and we love the outdoor, we love being active. And just think about like hiking is your job. This is your job. You get to pay to hike through the bush and sometimes in an area that probably no one ever been there before. You get to see some really cool views and you get the quad. In the wintertime, you get to snowmobile, you get to snowshoes. It, it just fascinates me that we're doing the stuff that people literally pays money to do. And it's our job. Just look it around. This is your job. You get to deal with this all day. And I would say, you might have some good days and bad days doing layout in. And I can tell you that, the worst day in the bush, it's probably better than the best day in the, in the office. If you know silviculture, and a lot of people say silviculture is a art and science of planting trees or growing trees. And I would like to steal that and then say, layout is the art and science of harvesting timber. timber. There's definitely science behind that, but it's also in an art. There's a lot of, you have to make a lot of decisions based on the experience, based on the knowledge you have on logging, on the ec ecosystem, geology and all those. And it's not black and white. So there's some time to sit on your sit thinking log and thinking about, I could put, put the road there, I could put the road there, and then you debate the pros and cons and pick a better one. So you're making decisions, you are at the front line of the battlefield to balance logging, economic needs, you know, environment, ecosystems, wildlife, wildlife corridors. You are making all those tough decisions. So this is why I like this job. It's layout is a balancing act. There are so many factors you need to think about when you make decisions. Where is the boundary goes? Where is the road goes? Why we're we cutting out that and not that? I've been doing this nonstop for almost four years and then I think I know a fracture of it. There's just, there just so much more to learn and, and the learning never stops. So it is a pretty physical demanding job and sometimes you hike five, six, seven kilometers, you know, sometimes five kilometers just to get to the bush. Look, I just found a channel, but it's dry. Look at this, but it's dry doesn't mean it's not a streams or NCD. What is NCD? So we still assess those and give it a quick look what that is. But back to uh, the main topic I want to talk about. Um, so you will be wearing this. It spells C-A-U-L-K. 
have fun pronouncing that word. So I don't know, you, you might, have, everybody's from different backgrounds and, and, and areas and have different knowledge, level of knowledge in terms of like um, the environment and, and logging. And I, I think layout is a great entry level job to get your foot in this industry. Get to know the plants, the trees, the streams, you know, how to manage the forest, different area, different laws, bylaws, and, um, and you're being active. You get to, you just, you're out there every day. So, and people, there are so many like-minded people and doing this job, I, I know so many, 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 many cool people from everywhere. Um, and, and I tell you that the bond you created doing this job and then I can show you camps if you want. It's, it's crazy. It's, it's, it's really like brothers and sisters. You know them so well. So if you're hesitating, <laughs> don't know what layout or cruising, cruising, you know, we should probably talk about more next that videos or whatever. Click that apply button. Give it a try. It's, it, it's fun and I think it's, it's bush life. It's probably, I think, it's the best way to spend your early 20s. Even you're in 30s, 40s, it doesn't matter. Give it a try. And I really hope you'll like it.